Hello, and welcome to another episode of Dungeon and uh, Dungeon of Dragon Knight. There's been another update. I have no idea what was in the update. Um, there were once again no patch notes, so we are literally just guessing. I uh, I edited together. The, uh, the previous episode yesterday, just after I'd finished playing, and oh dear lord. You know how I was going on about um, the secret button, and how panicked I was? By that point, I'd actually literally only missed one from th that I could see in all of the footage. Um, but it was all like, oh yeah, I'll make a joke of that. And I did. Um, but at least I know what it looks like now. Also, it's really dark in here. Um, you'll notice that I did eventually... Go and find uh, and get a hold of the flaming sword. It's a 2d8, 2d6 uh, sword. So realistically, assuming the enemy's not immune to fire, it should do a minimum of four damage. I've still got no idea how uh, damage calculation is working. And, and there are hints um, that... Dexterity does indeed affect ranged damage. So I'm actually going to be trying that today. It feels a little bit dumb having a character on the front row firing arrows. But if I'd thought about it, I wouldn't have had... Uh, oh, I don't want to fall off there, do I? That's going to uh, that's going to do a lot of damage. Right, we've got Storm Elemental down there. We've clearly got something over there. And somewhere around here, there's a gargoyle. I kind of want to find out where this goes first of all. So let's do that. Ah! It teleports us forward. I cannot escape and I am dying, but it might be a good thing. Uh, don't know what that is over there, but it's glowing. And there's a blue thing over there. Uh, I feel like I've just made a terrible mistake. Oh no, there's a ladder here. Right, there's the gargoyle. Oh man, I am surrounded by all manner of niceness. And I use that in the most sarcastic way possible. You can't actually read that unless you flip the video over. Um, I'm wearing my sarcasm is my only defense t-shirt today. Um, I considered changing before starting this recording. Uh, and then realized that there's a reason why I have a massive load of laundry. <laughs> In the washer, as I speak. Um, oh, I need I need to go and fight one of these. Is there a pit down below me? Oh snap! Oh, this is this is not good. This is not good at all. Oh shit! They can fly. I mean, that makes sense, obviously. So he's doing 50 damage with his arrow. Thirty damage with his Oh. Eighty-eight damage with Now does that use an arrow if I do it? No, it doesn't. Hmm. So whatever that ability is actually called, I don't know what it's called. It doesn't seem to make any huge amount of difference. What the? Oh. Damn it. I want to try and tempt that gargoyle into fighting me up here.
Give me my arrows back. Oh, is this a blue tongue? It is a blue tongue. But that strange lock. Okay. See, these are the kinds of levels that I like where you are initially overwhelmed with uh, things, with all the different possibilities. Really? Uh, it's going to have to be. Did that tempt you across, my good gargoyle? Oh, shoot. You'd think after all this time... I'd be better at this whole spell casting thing. Oh, can't bloody well cast magic while bloody moving. Right, you're out of the way. You're going to die if I don't give you a potion or something. Don't panic. Don't panic. Just use up some of those. Right. Oh, it, the, the, the can't cast magic while moving thing is really weird. Sometimes it lets you have a lot of leeway and sometimes it really doesn't. Right, you can take that. So these things are immune to the elemental effect. I don't want to fire any arrows off here because, well, quite frankly, because he's right over a pit. Ow! Oh, that just dropped my... Minos maze. Oh, is this going to be? Is this going to be a, a, a level with multiple? In Black Crypt, which was my first experience with this kind of game, um, the. Was it level 13? I think it was level 13. Was a kind of crossroads level. It was a hub level of sorts where you could. Where you ended up going off to various uh, levels and then all coming back to one central hub. And uh, it was weird. I hadn't. You know, I got, I got so little experience with this kind of game anyway at that point. Delicious. A lot of chili peppers there. Oh, that's the, the, the lock. You, sir. There's actually quite a delay before he casts off his fireball. And by fireball, obviously I don't mean fireball because he's clearly not a fire elemental. Do, do the numbers get projected on 
the, the grid around him. Because when he was facing that wall, it looked like the number was turned to the same side. I think they're projected in front of the enemy. Um, which is really bizarre. Ow! Ow! West Minos Maze. Yeah, so it looks like... It looks like this is going to be... Some kind of hub level. Where we get to go and... Explore things. Um, hmm. A lot of constitution. Also running out of things to uh, to to buff up. See, I was working uh, under the assumption. Oh no! You want more HP, don't you? Uh, I was working under the assumption that you wouldn't get so many levels that you'd run out of things to spend them on um but actually which is why i took a lot of those skilled things uh, uh right at the start but as it turns out um it's really not that bad so we've got all of these skills and to be honest i don't remember how to use any of them but mind you mind you we've got the the spell list haven't we Maybe I should try some others. Um, right, so X, Y. Let's try. Wow, that takes up over half of your mana, though. And I think this is my issue. Um, I, th I think this is one of my big issues with the spellcasting system in this game. The lower level spells are fine. That's a door over there. Yeah. The, the lower level spells are fine. They do decent damage once you've got them all buffed up. And they're not too MP costly. But... I kind of feel like I should have gone for the other ways first. Never mind. Um, but yeah, the, the higher level spells seem to be exorbitantly expensive. I'm sure they do an absolute chunk of damage, but you just can't cast as many of them. West Minos Mayors. Our torch has gone out. That needs capitalization. Skittering. Oozes. Oozes. Who knows? That was a lot funnier in my head. <laughs> So much funnier in my head. Uh, that describes probably a lot of my quote-unquote jokes. Hello? Oh, balls. Yeah, see, that didn't even do. I 
That's weird. Surely that should have taken more of my MP than it did. And sometimes damage numbers don't show up at all. Like that, for example. Are they immune to fire? That could be a thing. Uh, amazing. Also, shouldn't the... Whoa! No, they're clearly not immune to fire. that go to yeah so you actually have to look at things in order to fill them out on the map that's the criteria tell you what and i should probably not open my mouth here but at least there aren't any spike traps. I'm already regretting saying that. Uh, it looks like the only way is up. Okay. This is going to take us down. No, that does not put us in a different section of the maze. Right, there's a bit over there. Uh, yeah, left here. Oh, look! A minotaur in a maze. Who'd have thunk it? Ow! I think with the ranger on the front row, there doesn't seem to be a huge amount of points uh, using ranged weapons. Because this, whatever it's called, I, I can't remember what the ability is called, is targeted strike or whatever, just seems to do so much more damage. Another frost arrow. Are these like super powerful against elementals? Because that's all well and good. But I've got no way. Got no way of getting my arrows and stuff back half the time. A chunk of cash. But. No apparent way forward. So is the Hold on Because sometimes this works Yeah That's not supposed to work But it does At least I don't think it's supposed to work Maybe it is Maybe it's a, a feature doesn't feel like it's supposed to be a feature. Right, this just takes us back up to there. Right.
Now we can, if needs be, and it may well need to be. We can get back out to the other maze. I didn't hear any pressure plates. It was worth a try. No, those just seem to be normal aisles. It's possible that we have to do the east side first, though levels don't tend in these kinds of games. They don't tend to have that kind of interlocking restrictions. Oh, no, wait. No, it's just me being an idiot. I can do that, can't I? Lovely. Yes, I can. Wait, where does this go then? Oh, I just had... I just didn't see it. Because I, folks, am a Muppet. Yeah, so this is just going to allow us to go round, and I'm assuming shoot our elemental friend in the back. Yeah. Ha! That shouldn't hit me. No, good. <laughs> right. Ugh. Ah. You'd think after this many hours that the spell casting system would become a little bit more intuitive. You'd think that. Hello. Color Spider sixty four. Yes, yeah, the the difference in da difference in damage for the level one based sp base spells. Just doesn't seem to be a huge amount. I'm going to try. Have I got. Got air and earth magic also leveled up. We haven't tried Lightning Bolt yet, have we? Let's try Lightning Bolt. I assume that it's going to be, you know, a big ranged attack. I also assume that it's going to take a big chunk of, uh, of the old MPs. Go down there in a moment. The verticality of this level is quite interesting. Arm to the teeth. All characters wearing armors. Did we not have that before? Oh no, I guess we didn't. I guess he didn't have 
anything in that slot. Well, he does now. I didn't see how much damage that did. Oh, balls. 69-ish? Look at what's 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 the point? What what what's the point of using those much more expensive spells when basically color spray does the same amount of damage roughly? Randomly. <laughs> Hunker. Oh, hello. I don't know what that opened up. The one problem with a level uh, designed like this is that... Uh, Yeah, see, they've even got massive range. And they're super cheap. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm missing some nuance. Whoa! That graphical glitching. You know, maybe I'm missing some some huge nuance to the. No. Oh. To the combat system, to the magic system. Ugh. I also don't know what the criteria is for whether attacks deal damage or not. Uh... Oh man, whoever designed this level... Clearly... Designed it in a 3D space without much thought to how it would actually be navigated. So why did it auto-equip that? I don't know. Hello, scroll. Fire ring. And that takes us back down to the ground floor. It does, but somewhere new. No, from a complexity level, th this this particular part of the maze is cool. The issue is, from an actual navigation standpoint, it's a real pain in the ass. Also, I really hate to think... Oh, there's another one. 
Oh, balls. See, that, that blunt damage is doing so little. They're both 3d8 damage. So in theory... Ah! One of the eyes. And a red necklace. That's more health. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Where's this going? I don't know what you are. We'll look at you in a second. So this is our reward, it seems, for doing what we've done. A fine holy sim... That's not how you spell symbol. Um... I'm sorry, Torch. You've done valiant work in the past. But... So does this enable us to... Yeah, that's that's our way back down to the main room. Which is all well and good, but uh... there's, there's quite a lot more dungeon on this side, I think, left to explore. For example, there's a load of stuff down there. Oops. And that's not actually how I wanted to do that, but whatever. Yeah, see, we've been up there before. Oh! <sighs> Crap. There's also a slime down here, which we clearly haven't been and fought before. Hi, friend! Oh, shite. Uh, ah, that's the secret place, I assume that we uh, found the button for. Yes, because that wasn't there before. There's some... No! Uh, I want to get back to that stuff that we accidentally threw away. Um, I think it was... I think we have to go over this way to get it. Uh, yes. What were you? Oh, General Pants. I'm assuming... No. So I'm assuming these are classed... Yeah, those are classed as heavy armour. Which have encumbered us. Oh. 
Not surprised. They weigh eight kilograms. That's quite a lot. Still a pile of gold over there that for some reason we haven't nabbed. Yeah, the achievement for mapping out this level, uh, not, just this, not just this level, uh, you know, mapping out the game, strikes me as one that's going to prove quite challenging to do considering how the map is designed. You know, it's, it's a complicated map full of a, a multitude of levels. So I strongly suspect it would actually be a bit of a pain in the ass to map this out well and properly. You know, obviously we're getting auto mapping done, but in terms of actually unlocking that achievement... So that's going to take that, that's going to take a long time I would have thought and be realistically a bit of a pain especially when you've then got secrets and stuff to take account of as well No, no, no. Either way, I think, I think that's that side of the maze completes. Also, does the light spell go off every time you enter a new area? I kind of feel like it does. Right. Uh, who? Something clunked. Right. Let's head down to the West Minus Maze. In fact, we're going to do that in another episode. Because... At the rate that we're going, if this if this uh, uh, this next bit is as confusing, and it seems to be, oh no wait, it was the mess west maze that we've just done, wasn't it? Also, why are there no torches around? The East Minos Maze. Let's see if this is roughly the same. Okay, so the East Minos Maze seems different. Either way, I think that's a pretty good natural point to cut it. That hasn't been any massive, uh, ridiculous amounts of wandering around. Uh, and it will still mean that we've got you know separate areas in separate videos, which will be quite nice. So I'll catch you all in the next video where we explore the east section of the maze. Until then, cheerio. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and subscribe. Remember to ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, toodle pip.